Hi, this is Tehseen. Um, so today we will uh, see how to model a car. This is the um, first part in which I will tell you, you know, what are the basic preparation you need to do before you start modeling the car. First of all, you need to have blueprints of the car, front, top, back and side view. Um, so something like this. Um, I will open it in Windows Photo Viewer. So something like this, you know, four views. So I had a blueprint like this. I uh, separated them into four different blueprints. Um, I made sure that, you know, um, the height of the front side and the back is same. Um, and the length in the side view and top view are also same. You can use any uh, program like GIMP, which is an open source program. G I M P GIMP. I'll just write it. It's GIMP. GIMP is an open source program for uh, uh, manipulating images. It's a very good program, very powerful. Um, there is one more called Inkscape. Um, call it ink scape inkscape is another very powerful tool um, used to manipulate the images uh, both of them are jim pen uh, inkscape are like uh, photoshop and coral so you can get the blueprints from this site called the blueprint uh, the hyphen blueprints.com um, you have to register um, to download the images you can go into the blueprint database and you can click cars inside cars you know you would have all the different different cars you know you can click inside go download the respective blueprint also one more thing that you need to do is uh, uh, you need to have a lot of reference images you know the blueprints give only four different views in two dimension uh, but then there are a lot of times you know when you have to actually uh, have the reference pictures which help you in making sure that you don't go wrong if there is something missing in the blueprint so backlights or you know maybe front light all these you need to get so let's get started delete this box press N now we are going to add images um, I'll say I'll get the views um, this is the right view I'll say the right view I need the oh, sorry mm, right view I need the Okay. Okay. and then I would say um, and here you see I, I'm saying that show only in the right you can if you say all in that case it will show in all the windows so I only chose uh, right view then I'll add one more I'll say top one and I'll choose top then I will say one more say front front and uh, um, front I've chosen okay then I'll say one more um, back okay back okay. in the back view so I've chosen the view now if I go in the back view I'll see the back if I go in the front view I see the front I go in the back view I see this way now how do I know the pictures are aligned? How do I know? By the way we can just select these and send in the 
so in a different layer so what we do is basically draw a, um, a cube make it transparent let's say we go in the front view um, now we start using it as a reference okay there's a 3d cube which I am just I'm just aligning this 3d cube with the front blueprint now once it is aligned with the front blueprint I would start using this cube as the reference for the back also and I'll adjust the back view accordingly so I go in the back so back has this back reference picture has to be slightly shifted towards the left and also has to be moved up so this is the back um, you see the back x coordinate and y coordinate I have to shift it a little bit so I'll type a value of maybe 0 0.5 um, maybe 6 should do no um, maybe 4 should do um, 3 should do 3 should do same way for y um, you will say point 0.1 it's going up so we have to say um, this should do okay so there's I think a slight mismatch also in the reference um, okay I'm I'm just um, using the on my laptop I'm using the control Fn key and 1 to go into the back view and only Fn key and 1 to come in the front view that's the shortcut instead of going into the menu every time like this so let's leave it here um, go in the side view uh, on the numpad 3 or on the, in the laptop Fn key and uh, 3 I select this cube Hide, I reduce like this. Oh no, no, this control Z. Now you see the problem here is that um, height of this car uh, is quite less. Uh, in the front view, um, as per front view, the cube's height is okay. So in the side view also we cannot change the height all we can do is change the length so we have to increase the height or basically enlarge the image so that it touches the edge of the box uh, so what we do is this is the side side we go and increase the y size so oh sorry we increase the scale Increase it, increase it, increase it, increase it. Okay. Um, and wow, fits perfectly well. I didn't know that it would be so perfect. Oh, great. Okay. So now. But but just don't re rely on these uh, blueprints. They're not always you know uh, accurate, so you give a lot of problems. So this is this way. Side blueprint is okay. Um, we go into the top mode, and this one is already aligned a little bit. Length is less. Um, so what we do is we reduce it so that side uh, it's okay okay hmm. so now blueprint is aligned same size all of them 
delete this box and uh, these images are here all of them we press N and they disappear and the palette disappears tool we remove right now by pressing T it's gone this one we just drag and so we have the we have the space all the space in this world to start the modeling press uh, control W and uh, save it you know somewhere um, I save it in blender um, blender work Chrysler 300 C saved Sorry, Chrysler 300C saved. So this way, um, the first part ends. Now, now after this, we'll start the modeling.